What's up, I'm Ming, and welcome to my quick tips. I was working on a house track the other day, and I had a drum break that had a really nice rhythm to it. And I thought, maybe I could make a bass line out of this drum break. So I took Waves Submarine and generated a tone an octave down and created a really nice sub bass. This is how I did it. This is the drum break right here that inspired me to create this sub bass tone. It has some interesting movement on the low end. Do -do 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 -do. Right? So I thought that what I could do, and if I look at this through a frequency analyzer using an EQ, there's this interesting section right in here that I thought if I brought that out and maybe dropped it in octave, it would create a really interesting subtone. So what I'm going to do is put this signal in mono first using submarine. So I'm going to put on my mono sub. There's a stereo sub, mono sub. And then you pick the frequency that you want to focus on. So in order to do this, I'm, fi I'm picking between 30 hertz and about 152 hertz. I just found that this was a good reactive area for this drum break. The next thing I did is I added a little bit of drive to it, which adds harmonic content. Um, by doing this, it makes the, the bass line stand out a little bit more. Um, and it's not just a pure subby tonal uh, sub bass sound. This just has more of a like, little distorted trappy sub onto it. And then using their dynamics knob, which is basically a compressor, I'm just smashing um, the sub so I have control over it. I'm using a completely wet signal because I don't want any of the drum uh, break to come through. And in the output, I would bring this down, let's say, if the uh, output started to distort because of the because of the drive and I didn't use the second sub which is a mi is a minus at two octaves because that would go below the 30 Hertz range um, and I'll show you here uh, when I when I put on the um, when I put on submarine you'll see down here that the the signal goes mono and it drops down about an octave okay so check this out I'll turn it this is the break now with the sub See, that would gain some, got a little bit of gain because of the drive. Turn the drive down. Very subby tone. Put the drive back up. Let me do that on the compare. Gives it a little bit more raspy, harmonic y feel. It's a really nice sub bass. So, the other thing that I do, if you notice, I have a high pass um, filter on because I don't really need any of the sub bass below 30 hertz because otherwise um, I'll just get low frequency rumble that most people's stereo can't hear uh, or can't reproduce. And the other thing that I did in order to get this bass line is that I added a, uh, um, a sidechain compressor so that it's hitting at the same time as when my kick hits. And that way it, uh, the sub bass gets out of the way of the kick. So here is the sub bass in context with the music. Check it out. Hope this helps you come up with some interesting sub bass lines. If you are interested in this plugin or any of the Waves plugins, I have a link down below for a discount. So make sure you check that out. And to the next tip, make some great music. Like my quick tip production videos and you want to get more of these, please subscribe right down below here. I've also got my artist videos and my Ming Presents the Reup series, which I hope you will check out. Until next time, peace.